Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see uh, one more uh, concept in operating system that is uh, synchronization problems. So one such problem is a dining philosopher's problem. So in our previous sessions, we have seen what exactly means the process synchronization. So if the multiple processes wants to share the common resources or the limited resources, then, then there arise a problem like a deadlock situation or a starvation situation so in order to avoid that one what kind of uh, things we have to use and mainly we are solving these process synchronization problems using semaphores so in today's session we'll see such type of problem which can be solved using the semaphores that is dining philosophers problem so without delay let's start So, before finding the solution, first let us see what exactly the problem means and then we will see the solution for this kind of problem. So, now what is the problem? Okay. So, consider a round table, dining table, okay, as our uh, problem uh, defines the dining philosopher's problem. Let it be, it is a dining table, it is a round table. And uh, here we will be having five philosophers five philosophers we will call them as P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. Let it be philosophers, let us say humans, okay, humans. And every person, every in front of every philosopher, there is a foot, a plate with foot. Okay, every, in front of every philosopher, there is a plate of foot, and in between the philosophers, there is a chopsticks. There is a chopsticks. In between every philosopher, okay. So these are the chopsticks. We can call it as a uh, like C one, C two, C three, C four, C five. Okay, so I am writing here, philosophers P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5 and chopsticks. So we can call it as a chopsticks or spoons, whatever it may be. So every philosopher have to eat the food by using these chopsticks. Chopsticks with a numbering C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. So, if you relate this one, okay, if you relate this one to our subject, consider these philosophers as a processes and this chopstick as a resources, resources, okay. So, hope you understood till now. Now, what is the problem? So, what till now what we have seen? A round table is there and there uh, five philosophers have been settled down and in front of every philosopher, there is a plate with a foot and in between the philosophers, there is a one chopstick. So, here one condition is, so here the philosophers will be in A philosophers will be in thinking state and eating state, thinking state and eating state. So when the philosophers in thinking state not able to 
eat. So they are not able to eat the food. When the philosophers are in eating state, how to eat food with two chopsticks? See, this is most important. So two phases, one is a thinking phase and another one is a eating phase. Whenever the philosophers are in thinking, they will not communicate with any other philosophers. They are not able to eat the food. And when they are in the eating state, they have to eat food with the two chopsticks. Okay, they have to, sorry, here they will not be, if the philosophers are in the eating state, they are not able to communicate with any other uh, philosophers and they are they have to eat the food with the two stop chopsticks when they are th in the thinking phase they are not able to eat anything okay they are not ready to eat okay if they want to eat they require two chopsticks but see how many philosophers are there five philosophers are there how many chopsticks are there only five chopsticks you can see c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 only five chopsticks so five philosophers and according to the condition, if they want to eat, if all the philosophers, if all philosophers wants to eat, so how many chopsticks required? How many chopsticks required? So how many they are required? Obviously, each philosopher need two chopsticks. So, 5 into 2, 10 chopsticks are required. 10 chopsticks are required. But how many chopsticks are available? Only 5 chopsticks are available. So, that means this is the case where the limitation of resources, I mean utilization of limitation of resources. That means only a very few resources are available. So, that can be used by the processes. So, how the allocation or how the utilization will be done. So, this is a one kind of process synchronization problem. So, here see, if all, so one condition, if all philosophers pick up the right chopstick, and waiting for left chopstick to eat to eat see imagine a condition if all the philosophers picked up the right chopstick and every philosopher is waiting for the left chopstick because if the philosopher, want, philosopher wants to take the food, he or she should require two chopsticks. So, every philosopher picked up his or her right chopstick, okay, and waiting for the left chopstick. So, what happens? All the five philosophers were holding one chopstick and they are waiting for another chopstick which was held by another person. I mean, another person, yes. So, where it cannot be done, so this kind of condition, we call it as a deadlock situation. Deadlock situation, okay, deadlock situation. So, the one thing, if all the philosophers wants to take the food at a time, at a single time, that is not possible because that leads to the deadlock situation. So, how can we solve this one? By using the semaphores. So this is the actual problem. Okay, this is the actual problem. How can we solve the problem using a semaphore? So in our previous session, we have seen what about the semaphores. So a semaphore is an integer variable and it, it mainly operates a two functionalities. One is a weight and a signal. Weight and signal. So weight means if one process holds the resources that will be in the waiting state so no other process should enter into the critical section right so the same thing applied here also i am erasing this one so in order to avoid the deadlock and how to utilize the resources efficiently the limitation of resources efficiently you can see 
if one philosopher wants to eat the food the adjacent philosopher should also be in the waiting state so for example if p1 wants to eat the food eat food so what happens the c1 should be wait okay c1 should be picked up okay picked up as well as c5 should also be picked up okay c5 also should be picked up okay so that means whenever the philosopher wants to i philosopher wants to eat a food then ci plus ci plus 1 mod 5 should also in the waiting state okay it should also be in the waiting state right now see see what we'll be doing here do what we have to do wait signal wait signal weight of chopstick of i let it be it's an array, array of chopsticks should be in the waiting state as well as weight chopstick of i plus 1 mod 5 should also be in waiting state okay should also be in waiting states so this weight signal implies the philosopher wants to eat food so adjacent stop chopsticks should also be in waiting state so if philosopher for example p5 p5 wants to eat then p5 will hold c1 as well as c2 c1 and c2 so this will be i and this will be i plus 1 okay and as it is in a round table as it is in a round table so we should apply this mod 5 we should apply this mod 5 for example if c uh, 5 okay if c5 should be taken then 5 and 5 plus 1 mod 5 so that implies c1 so c1 and c5 with c1 and c5 p1 can have eat the food okay as it is in the round table so we need to apply this mod operator and now you can see after that so the philosopher will be in the eating state eating state so what it means weight means the philosopher wants to eat the food so no other philosopher that means adjacent philosopher should not be in the eating state so they will be in the waiting state if still they are hungry they doesn't have the resources to do the process to execute the process so here executing the process means just eating the food so if they want to execute the process they have to utilize the resources here the resources are the chopsticks here the resources are availed by another process so whoever the process wants to utilize the resources they have to wait until this process releases the thing so releasing means the thing called a signal command so signal of chopstick i and signal of chopstick i plus 1 mod 5 so whatever the resources in a lock state that will be released here so after that again the philosopher will be in the thinking so they are not able to eat so this is a simple code which can be used to solve the dynamic i mean dining philosophers problem hope you understood okay so here what we are doing so wait we are just holding the current chopstick and the next chopstick so if 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 p5 wants to eat the food p5 should pick up the left hand side chopstick and the right hand side 
chopstick. So C1 and C2. If P4 wants to eat, P4 wants to eat with C2 and C3. If P3 wants to eat the food, P3 have to hold C3 and C4. If P2 wants to eat the food, P2 should hold C4 and C5. And P1 have to food, it, it have to hold C1 and C5. So here the adjacent philosophers should also be in the waiting state. So no adjacent uh, philosophers will be start eating at a time in this case. Okay. So one more solution for this one is considering only four philosophers. So instead of five philosophers, you can consider only four philosophers. For example, if you consider only four philosophers, sorry, you can consider only four philosophers, four philosophers and five chopsticks. Then, for example, for example, P1 holds C1 and C5, chopsticks C1 and C5. P2 holds, so there is no C5, so C4 or uh, C, C, for example. So, in the previously, we have seen the deadlock situation. If all the philosophers, philosophers wants to eat the food, so then if they pick up the right hand side chopstick and waiting for the left hand side. So, if P1 picks the right hand side chopstick, that means C1, then P2 will pick up C5, P3 will pick up C4, P4 will pick up C2 and see here again C4, C3, C2 is available here. So P4 will pick up C2 also. So P3 will be waiting until P4 releases okay, C3. Once P4 completed, P3 will be assigned, I mean C3 will be assigned to P4, P3 and once it was completed, so it will be releasing C4. So it will be allotting C4 to P2, then C5 to P1. So there will be no problem. Okay, all the remaining philosophers will be in the waiting state until one philosopher completes its execution. So one solution is you have to consider only four philosophers, or four philosophers at a time, four philosophers with five chopsticks. Okay, so this is the dynamic, I mean dining philosophers problem. So hope you understood this one. We need to know the exact problem and then with using the semaphores and also uh, by using this uh, weight signal and uh, weight uh, state or weight function and a signal function, this kind of uh, dynamics philosopher problem can be solved. So this is a process synchronization. Once again, I'm repeating here, the philosophers means the processes, concurrent processes, which are being executed continuously. And chopsticks are nothing but a resources, available resources. So here we are having only limited resources and all the processes have to utilize the limited resources without inconsistency. So for that kind of problem, we are using the semaphores concept. So this is a semaphores. So the solution for dining, the dining philosophers problem will be using semaphores. So hope you understood and uh, I'll stop here. And if you are having any queries regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.